Never run out of battery again with the INIU Portable Charger, the slimmest 10,000 mAh power bank that keeps your devices charged on the go. Stay powered up wherever you go. Click the link in the video description to shop now on Amazon. What's new in the world of iPadOS? Apple's recently released iPadOS 18.6 to the public with a slew of bug fixes that are rolling out to all users. Now, this isn't exactly the most exciting update, but it's still an important one for anyone who wants to keep their tablet running smoothly. So, let's dive into what's changed. This latest update comes after three developer betas and one release candidate build, which tells us that Apple has been hard at work ironing out some of the issues that were found during testing. And indeed, that's exactly what this update is, a maintenance release with a few minor tweaks. Now I know some of you might be thinking, where are the new features? Well, it turns out that there aren't many. During the betas, developers didn't notice any major changes, which suggests that Apple was focusing on bug fixes rather than adding new functionality. And in fact, the release notes for the release candidate build warned about a specific issue with health data becoming inaccessible after reaching the slide to power off page without a passcode. But don't worry, this isn't all bad news. The iPadOS 18.6 update is still a great opportunity to keep your tablet running at its best. It's an update that's all about performance and security, which means you can expect smoother scrolling, faster app launching, and a more stable overall experience. Now, if you're curious about what's coming next in terms of iPadOS updates, then this is the release you want to know about. As we've heard rumors about iPadOS 26 being tested for various features like liquid glass and Apple intelligence improvements. But for now, it's all about bug fixes and performance tweaks. So, if your iPad isn't automatically updating to iPadOS 18.6, then why not head into the Settings app and do it manually? Just open up the General Settings section, select Software Update, and you'll be able to install this latest update without any hassle. And that's all for today's episode of iPad Focus. I'm your host. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you all next time with more updates and news from the world of Apple devices.